Hey, what's up guys? Blue Moon Mining here. And, um, sorry for not recording the last couple days. I've just been working a lot, and I was really tired, and, you know, gotta get that money. Gotta get, gotta stay on that grind. You gotta stay paying bills, you know. But, yeah, ever since getting that raise, I've been working a little bit harder, so I've been a little bit more tired. But today, I kind of took it easy, kind of, kind of just let myself settle down a little bit. I don't need to rush that much, right? <laughs> don't want to overtire myself, but, um... Today's video is kind of a little bit different. I do still want to do my usual update videos, but we do have a little bit something new to go over today because it's it's exciting for me because I think it's kind of cool and I I like I, I like these things. So uh, let's just do our usual update. The market's actually looking pretty decent today. Uh, Dogecoin is uh, up a lot apparently, so that's great for Dogecoin and anyone holding it. Um, but yeah. Other than that, I got another payout with Ethereum Classic, and um, I've been getting payouts with this already up to 18.3 Kadena. Uh, for some reason, my Sia coin miner keeps going offline, so it was offline for about two days before I noticed. So I haven't really gotten too much paid out, but it, it dipped for a couple days, and I don't know. I think there's something wrong with my Sia coin miner. But, we'll see. I also, uh, stay tuned for a video I'm doing this weekend. Somebody wants to know how to get set up a library box. Um, he must be mistaken on what miner I have. I don't have a library miner, but I do know how to get one set up. So, if you do want, I will link the video down to that to show him. To, figure, to show him what wallets I would recommend for library coin and stuff. Um, but of course I only do have a Sia coin and a KD box. I don't know if he watches my videos, but if you are watching this dude, I don't have a library box. I have a Sia coin miner or a handshake box is what I actually have. Just mining Sia coin with it, but I will get that video posted on how to, uh, get started with a library box because he did purchase one and I want, I want to make sure he knows how to get everything set up and what wallets I would recommend using because there's a lot of, a lot of things are a pain in the ass when you're trying out a new coin you know if you're if you're using a coin you've used a million times you know exactly what to do you already have the wallet you already have the software you want to use you just kind of slap it on there and go but if you're using it for a coin like when i started mining cadena and sia coin i had to get new wallets and stuff and get all that set up um like sia coin i i get it paid out to an exchange and i just kind of swap it for like flux and stuff that's how i got my titan node started i was swapping my sia coin for flux and i was getting a lot more a lot more flux every time i did that than i would actually mining it so yeah and then of course for anyone mining i wonder if i wonder if i'm profitable am i profitable if i were to have my gpus running absolutely not <laughs> um but yeah 6700 xt at 10 cents you're looking at 11 negative 11 cents a day and then let's throw a 3070 at 10 cents. You are looking at uh, negative 15. But yeah, um, what I want to go over today, sadly they don't have it in here, is that Avalon Miner Canon released a new Bitcoin miner. Um, so these are the A1366 and the A1346. The A1366 gets 130 terahash at 3250 watts. Now, let's go over to ASIC miners here, and we'll throw in 130 terahash at, I already had the wattage. We'll click calculate, this is at 10 cents per kilowatt hour. That's a dollar and 50 cents a day. This is a profitable miner, but of course, let's do 12 cents a day because that's what, uh, that's what, um, ASIC miner value usually puts that. You're losing six cents a day, but... That's not bad considering if you look at their older Avalon miners, like if I search up Avalon, they're losing over $3 a day or so. And that's actually doing better than the S19J Pro. That's actually more profitable than the S19J Pro. So that's actually pretty nice. Now, this S19 XP Hydro is actually freaking ridiculous right now, getting $5 a day. This is the most profitable Bitcoin miner out there. Uh, it looks like they just released it. I actually haven't looked on their website. It's hot. It says it's hot.
You probably have to pre-order it, but it's probably super fucking expensive. I, I don't know the actual price. Um, let's go here and click on it. I'm pretty sure the price is like $20,000, let's be honest here. Um, I'm not saying $12 a day, but it is uh, $5,000? Actually, that's not bad. Um, but yeah, this thing would only run by itself off like a 30 amp plug. But yeah, Avalon doesn't have their miners linked on here yet, uh, the new ones, but this is actually pretty efficient. And if people are, you know, uh, paying 10 cents per kilowatt hour, it may be of interest for anyone who wants to get into Bitcoin mining. Of course, it does use a lot of power, and I don't necessarily know the price quite yet. I don't really think it has a price. Uh, for it just yet, so not a hundred percent sure. That would be something I'd have to ask, like Charlie Lynn or something. He would, he would know. But yeah, so I could click buy now, but then it just has like it wants to put your name, email address, blah 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 blah, and yeah. So uh, let's just check out Avalon. A thirteen sixty six. Just search that up and go shopping. And you're not gonna see it. All right. Oh, BT miners. Yeah, there's no pricing on it yet, but I just think it's a. I think it's cool that we have another ASIC miner coming out, specifically for Bitcoin. Um, and honestly, if the price is right for this one, if I can get one of these cheaper than I can get a Bitmain S19J Pro, because I was looking at the 110 terahash model, which is like three thousand dollars or something. Um, pretty pretty expensive. If I can get one of these for around $3,000, I would much rather get an Avalon miner um, or the A1366. So, yeah, so I'm waiting for the pricing to come out for that to know how much I'm going to drop on it. But I guess their A12s and stuff may be a little bit spendy. I'm not 100% sure how much these are. But these do 100 terahash at 3,500 watts. So they are getting their efficiency better. From what I can see at Avalon, or Canon is what the actual website is, but if we look at, that's the 1266, doesn't look like they have the 1266 on here, but they do have the 1246, that is going around the price of, holy shit, those are expensive, <laughs> $2,500, yada yada yada. So some places do have them pretty expensive, but they're around three thousand dollars. So if they can, if they can make the these at a de reasonable price, they may be the ones that I look at. So yeah, so that's pretty much what the video is about. Just kind of going over that. They they have a new one. They're releasing a new Bitcoin miner. It seems like there's a lot of other companies that plan on making some new Bitcoin miners. So I'm I'm keeping my eyes out. I'm looking for good deals. I'm trying to get into Bitcoin mining with those ASIC miners. I got a second location coming up eventually, and yeah, so that's pretty much what I, that's pretty much what's going on. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did like it, leave a like. Let's me know you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys aren't subscribed and you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. You know, because I I try and do daily uploads, and lately I haven't been very good about it. But I'm trying to get back on the schedule. It's just just busting my ass at work, you know, you know how it goes, so, yeah, uh, hope you guys have a great rest of the day or night, and, uh, peace out.